Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to make ourselves have some crazy water hair. I'm going to show you guys how to crop a few things, how to get a couple images off the internet, and how we're going to use a couple of different menus to change, like the hue and the color and the you know the color values, so we can make the image look just like this one. You're going to give yourself a little funky hair wig today. All right, we'll get a little closer. That's exactly what we're going to be making this this uh this evening. So I am going to go first. I got to get you have to get an image all right so this is a regular image of me what you're going to need to do you want to crop this you're going to want to crop the sides in and get it really close get in bring it on up and you're going to want to get mostly the neck and you want to leave some space now uh, for girls you're going to want to leave a little bit more space because you may maybe want some uh, like wavy hair and things of that nature i have very little hair so i'm going to put myself right like this just about there a little bit more try and make it symmetrical and leave a lot up here if you want to have room up there so we'll crop it crop and crop so there I am I'm gonna to go to let's move up top just a little bit so you can see what's going on here guys I apologize for that all right all right we'll go to <clears throat> image uh, auto tone image auto contrast image auto color I don't like the color so I'll take that away now with that said, I'm going to work with this image. I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. Um, excuse me, the magnetic lasso tool. So take the magnetic lasso tool. You'll notice that I have my layers right here. I'm going to take this layer and bring this down a bit. I'm going to duplicate it. So I've duplicated this layer now. I will throw out the extra one because it, it locks it and you don't want to... You don't want to have the, the annoyance of having when it's locked. You're not able to edit it. So I'll bring this up a bit and with that up there now uh, I'm gonna use the magnetic lasso tool right here so tracing around I'm gonna just come to right about here and it, this does not have to be perfect alright so I'm gonna come along actually before I even get there let me get a little closer get a little closer like that good now use the magnetic lasso tool so we'll take it and I'm gonna start going on the bottom I don't mind going it does not have to be perfect alright so we'll come here and we're gonna come slowly around the ears alright now I'm starting to get perfect I'll stop that let me just get into the hair part right here you're only cutting out your face you're basically making yourself bald like I'm gonna be in a few years alright so I'm coming over here I'll keep the ears why not all right, and you got to be aware of the area you're cutting out. You got to be kind of a little bit of a visual spatial person to, you know, know what you're cutting out. Otherwise, just make sure that you're cutting just your face. All right, now in this layer, I'm going to go to Edit Cut. Cut. I will throw this layer away. Oh wait, I will go Edit Paste, and then I will throw out the background layer into the garbage pail. Unfortunately, I had to make the screen big enough, so I'll bring this down a bit I'm throwing this away it's garbage nothing take this layer now bring it move it and move it down so you have your face here alright and that is looking good so with that said I'm gonna just move this back up again I'm sorry I have to move this so much people alright now I'm gonna go to these menus you're gonna go to image adjustments levels change the levels lower lighten it a little bit lighten your face up a bit and you can even lighten the whole entire image excuse me, by going this way alright We'll, we'll just lower the levels to about you know, 2.2 and that's fine. I'll hit OK with that. Then I'm also going to go to Image, Adjustment, uh, Hue Saturation. Lower the saturation a bit of your face so it's easier so you can see it there. All right, that's fine. Before we do the saturation, excuse me, I want to go to Image, Adjustment, Color Balance. In the Color Balance menu, you want a blue tint to your face. So you're going to bring it to the left for cyan and to the right for blue. We'll do that again in the highlights and the highlights is really where it comes to a head. So you bring it this way to the left for cyan and you need more blue in there and you bring yourself to the blue. Not too much blue but just enough where you know you don't want to look like a smurf but you do want to lend yourself to uh, the hair that we're gonna put in here and that's legit. That looks pretty good. Alright with that said I'm going to and this is what you're gonna look like so we're gonna come over here now and now with that said we'll go and get the hair. We're going to go straight to the internet. I put in, if I come down here, I put blue water splashes. You want to get some good splashes. I'll try this one. Works pretty good. I like this one or this one. This one's nice. So I'll view the image. It's a nice image. I'm going to copy it. Now you're designing this, guys. You're not selling these things. So do not, uh, you know, 
um, make sure you're giving credit to people if you're taking their images so I'm gonna bring this up top and I'm gonna go to edit paste with that use the I like using the magnet uh, the magic wand tool just click and hit delete and you can delete backgrounds then I go to the polygonal lasso tool and I'll click on up you want to get rid of this little like uh, where you get this from like dreamillusion.com all right so we'll get take this and we'll cut this take it away now taking this image right here I'm gonna take it go to edit free transform and we are going to shrink it a bit and I'll put it above my head all right so and you can also edit it and move it this way things of that nature I kinda like that that's pretty cool now there's a different tool I want to show you guys which is you could switch between free transformation and wrap modes which is right here If you click this thing it's really cool you can kinda shape um, any image you want and drag stuff and you know bring stuff down things that are like things like that so I'm gonna just leave this this looks pretty legit All right, uh, I'll go there that's fine click the move tool hit apply so that's my first image it's starting to you know some people could just leave it like this and call it a day but we're not gonna do that we have our layers here I'll put this one top hair and this bottom layer I'm gonna call this one face alright so now I have my face and my top hair after I've done that I'm gonna go straight back to the internet hit the back button we'll go back um, we'll go up again find some different hair something that we could uh, let's see what do we got what do we got I'll take these these look good or this one this one's gonna be nice let's see the image these are beautiful I'm gonna copy these and then I will then go back into Photoshop and paste them bam magic wand tool I like to use you can also go into here and use the magic or uh, magic eraser and do that it's really up to you it doesn't matter I like using the magic wand so I'm then going to use the polygonal lasso tool and I'll take it and click and drag down and coming on up bam edit cut get rid of that stuff it's garbage now this layer right here take the move tool you're going to go to edit free transform and what we'll do is we will you know what's good about this image here it's got two pieces of uh, water so I'm only going to take one of the two I'll crop it I'll hit apply for now I'll just take the lasso tool and I'm only gonna take this part right here this little part of that water on this layer I'll go to edit cut and edit paste I made another layer of it so I'll take this water I'll put it like here go to edit free transform flip it around all right I'm gonna move it over to here and give myself a little nice little styly ding. I'll move you. I'll use the. Um, I'll switch between the free transformation and the wrap mode right here. That's this tool right here, guys. It's really good. And I'm gonna just drag this one in a bit, or outwards, or maybe out there. And this part will come in. I, I like that a lot actually. And this one will come in. Bam. Good. Um, that's cool. Move tool. Apply that one. I'll call this one far left. It's good to name your layers, even if you're not even sure exactly what it is. Give the vicinity of it, and uh, along with the thumbnail, and you'll put two and two together. So on this layer right here, this here is a different image of the, the other piece of water. Uh, Control T is a shortcut for free transformation. You could also rotate this, and I'm going to bring this down. Now, what's cool about this is you could drag, you could put. Let's move. Let's hit apply. That's fine. I'm okay with this for now, but uh. I want to see more of my face so I'll go into this layer here which is this stuff over here and on this top hair layer I'm gonna use the eraser tool regular eraser tool with a nice soft edge make a soft edge you know in the size you'll you'll know by the diameter of the circle and you just kinda erase lightly make sure your flow is or opacity rather isn't too much see how I erased here mistake control alt Z Z and it's good now come in here giving myself more breathing room here and I'm just erasing parts alright so I could see a little bit more of my face and that's fine if I want to take away other parts oh it's kinda of catching up it's a little bit glitchy and that's alright there's my hair I'll go control T I noticed I left a spot over here so I'm gonna go back to the um, the switch between free tr the, the wrap mode drag it in a bit more and then it comes in I don't like that though I want to drag that up a bit you know what let's just get off of this and hit control T 
and make it just a little bit bigger and then drag it down a bit that's fine that'll work so move tool and apply alright so we're starting with this alright now I kinda like this but I want a little bit more going on over here you have choices you can either go back to the internet and get more images or you could work with what you have I like working with what I got now for simplicity and for time constrictions here so I'll come here and I'm gonna just duplicate this layer right here which this one is far right and now I'll take it and I'm going to drag it down I'm going to drag it down into duplicate it and now that it's being duplicated I will well where is it oh there's copy move tool apply it's duplicated here and I want to put a little something over here so I'll go to edit free transform whoopsie okay edit free transform flip it around put it on over here nope not there sorry there it goes beautiful put it right here now you got some more f more more splash going on for you all right move tool and apply now no one's to say that you can't take another duplicated uh you can't duplicate another layer and put it behind you all right, and if you put another layer behind you, you could put this layer all the way behind your face at the very bottom, and then when you move it, this layer is back here, so you can kind of get like a little bit more three-dimensional with it, and you go to edit, free transform, and you can flip it around this way, and this part can be kind of like that. So it's splashed around your back. All right, so now you have a really funny-looking hairdo here. This is the last step, guys, and then you can just keep it like this. You could also make other areas for your shoulder and stuff. But for now, what I'm going to do is drag this down. I'm going to make another layer on the very bottom. Let me see. Is this anything? No, I made extra layers for nothing, so I'll throw this layer out. Oh, sorry. Control-Z. Uh, this is the layer I want. I'm going to call this layer Background. and in the background layer I'll put it all the way in the bottom because it is the background and I chose this color for my background for the foreground color and then if you go up top you're gonna ch choose a gradient and make sure it's transparent at the top and all you do is in this background layer click on the bottom click up and drag and now another one up and drag and now what you have created is basically your own face with water as your hair and no one's to say that all the little tricks that I've just showed you that you can't take water or other images and put them over here to give yourself more shoulders and things like that I'll just do one real quick and give myself a little shoulder this top hair is really good so I'm gonna duplicate it I have the top hair here I have it I'm gonna move it to the bottom and then you can kinda give yourself one shoulder over there if you want and you can duplicate it again see and you can move the other one to the other side then you can have like shoulders and things like that but I like it like this and I kinda like it without the uh, the shoulders it's entirely up to you alright I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you guys really enjoy this and have fun with it because you could uh, as long as you have good layers and you know how to label everything you're really gonna do well with this image and it is a lot of fun. There's one thing that's annoying me, and it's this. I can't see my eye over here. So I'll use the eraser tool and... Mm. Oh, sorry. Here it is. Oh, take that one away. What is it, this one? Yeah. Click this one, and I'll get my eye back. There it is. And there you have it, folks. All right. Oh, and you can just delete little areas in here and stuff. Uh, in here. I get rid of that stuff. And where is the other one here? Yeah, in here you can delete this just so you can see more of it and stuff like that. Alright, so there you have it. I hope you guys enjoy it and thank you so much.